I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction because every decision you make during the Charleston impacts the next. You can start off with one category in mind and end up in a completely different category. And sometimes you might even have a choice between two categories, let's say. So let's test our instincts in this exercise. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be east for this exercise, so I'm going to get 14 tiles. Then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have three jokers, a flower, a single crack, number one, two, four, six, seven, nine, pair of sixes. Here we have, oh, that's bams, and then two, four, five in dots. So I'm going to take a photo, and while I do that, if these were your tiles, what would you focus on, and what would be your first pass? When I play, I like to build around multiples. We have one, one multiple right there, six. So I would probably build around the six. We could use these jokers for missing tiles in the two, four, six, eight category. We have two, four, six and two, four, or we could use these for consecutive run, maybe. I think no matter what, we don't need this. Oh, four, five, six, seven, consecutive run. Right here, four, five, six, seven. So let's do this. Let's do the first iteration and focus on consecutive run because we have no gaps. Four, five, six, seven, third hand down under consecutive run. In the next iteration, we'll try two, four, six, eight and see if that was a better plan. So let's focus on four, five, six, seven. We're probably not going to use that. So let's, let's pass those three. We'll focus on consecutive run. We'll take a photo. We did get a consecutive tile, six, seven, eight. Let's pass the south, the north, and a two. We'll take a photo. We did get consecutive tiles. Five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's two, four. We have to make a choice in here. I don't like to pass flowers. I would keep that. Maybe we could do four, five, six second hand down. I would not pass two, four, eight in one suit. We could still do four, five, six, seven. Let's pass these three. 
let's take a photo. We have a wind. We definitely don't need that. And look what we got, a flower. At this point, I would try to pick a hand that uses flowers. So maybe sixth hand down. Single pair Pung Kong. Or we could play the second hand down. Five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight in one suit. So let's pass these three. Ooh, we got a five. I think that second hand down looks good. Let's let the eight go. Let's see here. Did I take a photo? I don't remember. Okay, we're letting the eight go. Oh, I don't want to pass a white dragon. White dragon, that's a valuable tile. Let's keep it. Ooh, like numbers. Okay, so we need to either pass on like numbers, pass one blind, or let the dragon go. We have no gaps for the second hand down. Let's risk passing the white dragon. See if we can get some more tiles. Oh no, but we did get joker bait. So let's pass two for optional cross. Keep the joker bait. I just had another idea. Three, four, five, six, third hand down. Oh, we took, we want two. We got the white dragon back. All right, so we could play three, four, five, six, third hand down. Or we could hold this for joker bait and play Kong, Kong, pair, Kong. We could maybe use that either way, five or seven. I think that probably is the stronger play. Second hand down, one suit. Two discards with joker bait. So we're gonna remember those results. We have no gaps. Let's compare that to 2468. Okay, there's the Charleston. I got mixed up because I moved the tiles around. When you take photos, don't move the tiles or keep, you know, put your keepers in with your other tiles. Try to keep them separate. Otherwise, when you cre recreate the Charleston, it can get really confusing. So we're good to go now. So we're going to keep 2468. We don't need odds. Two, four, six, eight. Let's pass these three. We got an even. Two, four, six, eight, no gaps. We could do two, four, six, eight. Fourth hand down. Let's pass these three. We got a two. I think we're pretty solid with one suit. Let's let these go. Four, five, six. I think two, five, six might be better. Or maybe even two, four, five. Yeah, let's do two, four, five. Flower. 
Okay, flower. Now here's a five. Two, four, five, six. I don't think that works. Let's stick with evens in one suit. Oh, and then we get a three and a five. So now here's two, three, four, five, six jokers. I think I would still stick with evens. We have evens with flowers. Now the flowers, the first hand has four flowers and a single two. We could maybe play that single pair Pung Kong with the jokers to help. The other one suit hand uses no flowers. Second hand or third hand down. So that's not going to be helpful. I'm just thinking about this white dragon. Even if we kept the white dragon and let the two go, this is going to be pretty risky. Two, three, five. I would rather mix it up instead of pass one suit. Two, three, five. We're going across, so we have to pass fully. No keepers. And look at this, like numbers. So what I would probably do here is let the two go and pass one of each suit. Focus on the first hand. That way we'll pass defensively. Really building around the flowers. Ooh, joker bait. Two tiles. I don't, the only thing that I would want back from that passing would be the two. And if we got that, we would have to let the flowers go. I think I would rather hold on to joker bait and pass two. We got a seven and a four joker bait. Two discards with joker bait, no gaps. Same results. Both of these plans would be equitable. We could Kong the flower, Kong the eight, Pung the six, be ready on a four. I think this one, because we're set, we can Kong, Kong, Pung, be ready on a four. I would say this is probably a little bit stronger than the other one. Even though the other one, we had a pair secured, but we weren't quite set. The other thing we could maybe do is wait on these, hold the seven, and go consecutive. Six, seven, eight. Kong here, Kong here, and then we'd be light with our eight. I think that's kind of the same scenario for the first iteration. I do think that evens in this particular situation is probably better than consecutive. So I would hold that, discard these, see what comes in. Now, if we draw a seven, I might go consecutive. But if we draw a four, maybe stick with evens. One of the things that makes American Mahjong so much fun to play is that it is very flexible. With the same tiles, you can play completely different categories and make it work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, 
May all your picks be keepers.